Hello, I'm Dr. Barry Goodman of Aquarian Yoga and Holistic Health. Today we're going to spend a few minutes understanding why it's important to tune in and what the process of tuning in to the Kundalini Yoga class. Our tune in has a mantra. The mantra allows us to unite finite with the infinite through the mantra Om Namo Gurudev Namo. Sometimes we sing this or chant this on one breath, and other times we chant it on two breaths. Om Namo on the first breath, Guru Dev Namo on the second breath. Om is creative consciousness in manifest. It's like Om, not ethereal, but Om. The G manifests on the earth to bring it true within your life. Namo is name. Om Namo Guru. Guru is teacher. Gu, darkness. Ru, light. Anything that brings us from darkness to light. From ignorance to awareness. The teacher. The teacher above. The teacher within. They unite as one. That's tuning in. Om Namo Guru. Dev. Dev is the divine. The manifest of the divine in the tuning in. We call upon the divine. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. We identify ourselves with Namo, or name, once again. We bow to the Divine Teacher, the Divine Teacher with Him. We wear a white head cover during the Kundalini Yoga class experience because it allows us to have a couple of wonderful effects. The first and most important effect it allows us to cover the crown chakra and consolidate the energy of spirit at the crown or the top of the head, the seventh chakra. The second is that it starts to stimulate or compress or pull the cranial nerve points and the cranial pressure points. And this allows us to have an amplified experience while we're studying yoga. Some people have an interpretation that this implies religiosity, but it doesn't. Kundalini Yoga, as taught by Yogi Bhajan, is a yoga study. In fact, it's more in the science of yoga than it is in the religion of anything. So, Om Namo Gurudev Namo, this is what it sounds like. We'll do it first on one breath. We usually do this three times to begin a Kundalini Yoga class. Sit up tall, bring your hands into Admanjali Mudra, place them upon the heart center, press the thumbs back on the sternum, feel for the notch on your breastplate. Pull the optic nerve by stretching the eyes inward and upward to the brow point, the intuitive center, the pituitary gland center, the Ajna Chakra. The third eye point, we Meditate, focusing at the third eye point while we tune in with Om Namo Gurudev Namo. Straighten the spine, tuck the chin in and back, center the focus, begin long deep breath in through the nose up to the third eye point, out through the nose. The in breaths will raise the collarbone and the out breaths will stretch the breath so that the belly button, or the navel point, and the root lock, or the rectum sex organ complex of muscles, squeezes the last of the breath out. So that normal 60% of the, uh, the breath that you take is now stretched to 70, 80, 90, and possibly more. It allows us to bring in prana, or the energy of life, or life forces, you've known it, and bring that prana into the body into the mind, into the radiance, into the aura, into the subtleness, and amplifies the experience. It prepares us for studying yoga, tuning in. We drop our egos and we give ourselves to become one with the divine for the 90 minutes that we study each time we come to study. This is what it sounds like. Please tune in with me. Deep breath to begin. 
one of our teacher's manual. We're here in beautiful Arizona. The other way we tune is on t in two breaths for somebody who can't sustain a long breath right away. Sounds like this. Om. at the third eye point. Inhale on the mantra. Sat, which is truth. Exhaling on the mantra. Nam, which is name. How we start our class. On one of our other videos you'll see the entire class structure of a Kundalini Yoga class and that will help allow you to understand the five components of a regular class in Kundalini Yoga as taught by Yogi Bhajan. <laughs> 